What up, guys? Hey, guess what? We're back at the garage, and guess what's back in here again? Yes, indeedy. We have the chuck wagon back in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, last video you guys saw, we finished the engine, got that all back in, and it ran, ran perfect. It's, you know, it's been about, I don't know, a week later now. Been driving around. This is a daily for a minute. Works great. No engine noises, no nothing. Just kind of breaking in the motor a little bit more. Off from the rings being re done and all the bearings and everything like that and yada 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 with the, re with the semi rebuild because of the oil pump again so but I uh, noticed a few things with fuel fuel cutting out uh, so I gotta look into why the fuel pumps are shutting off and why they're not and why they are or what's going on with them because you just drive down the road and send duh, 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 ring big big up so and I noticed it's because of fuel cutting so I gotta figure out if there's something wrong, if there's a wire that's frayed or bad or whatever, and we're just gonna get to it and see what actually is going on with all this, even though our wiring harness is a freaking mess. So we're gonna get underneath the dash and try to figure out where all the fuel wires are and check them out, because right now it's just not looking too good. Doing a little tracing. And I remembered one wire we had to ground to the pump. And uh, I found it. It popped off. That's not good. I didn't even really touch it. I kind of grabbed it, just kind of followed it, and it popped off. That's when we first had the issues with the fuel pump. When we were first getting this thing running. And I totally forgot that we wired a ground wire in. That could be one reason why it's not running. So, what we're going to do is... I'm gonna get back underneath this thing. I'm gonna go back down there and I'm gonna figure out what. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna figure out what wire is for the ground. And I'm going to redo that. Put some heavier wire in it than what we put in here. This is like you know, 14 or 16 gauge wire. So probably put something a little heavier in there. Bring it back up. Get it ready to go. Uh, check the other ground on the other pump too as well because we are gonna try and get the second tank, the main tank rewired or plumbed in too because that's a whole different story but let's go underneath here and see if we can't figure out where these uh, other two wires that go i'm pretty sure that one goes to the high pressure pump the other one goes to the main line uh the main wire harness i know there's something fishy with going with that but all right guys so further inspection i noticed that there's something wrong here there is a wire i don't know if you guys can see it it's right there how about my hand it is all like melted this is right here next to the exhaust so I'm wondering if that's my issue if that's the ground on that I was causing that issue so we're gonna get back out here and uh, probably just replace that wire as well all right quick before the battery dies working on the high pressure pump here we did get the wiring done I ran the new heat shrink cable. I don't know if you guys can see that too well because of the light. Probably not. Probably right there. Yeah, I use the negative here. We're just going to ground it out somewhere down here on the chassis. Aww, you mother chicker. The stupid thing just broke. That's awesome. Uh, good thing we know that now and not uh, when we're running on the road and it just decided to fall off. Nice. Uh, I guess we'll be fixing that now. Yeah, ground's gonna be just wired to this. Probably gonna go back up there, and everything should be just like normal. All right, so we got that done in the ground. What we basically did is we just grounded that right there to the frame for the negative, and now we gotta go back up top and finish the positive wire because it's just sitting right here. You guys can't see it too dark. And oh, that pump works. We got that done. Just rewire it back the way it was. So we just gotta do a couple things for the rear tank. Get that plumbed in so when we turn it on, the rear tank fires up, pump will supply the high pressure pump and then boom, we're good to go. All right, so we're up top here. So what we're gonna do, this is the positive wire off of the fuel uh, pump that is down there. We're gonna make sure it's nice and snug down there. Run this up to the positive on the outfeed. Outfeed. The system, wire it back in. And we all should be good to go. Alright, so we got it done. This is wired here. 
to the positive and that goes back underneath to the ignition module because our harness here is messed up that's why i didn't have this wire here you guys can see it why it's not working something from the underneath dash is not working so that's why i wired it in that way uh it all works all fires up and runs so whew, one project down next one to go working on the interior as well a little bit on some things that we gotta do for the trailer hopefully we got enough wire to do that if not i gotta get some i guess so i totally forgot to talk about what we're doing next but since we're pulling a trailer with trailer brakes and it's gonna have some weight on it we're installing a kishani primus iq brake controller yeah it's older yes and it still works yes so we're gonna be installing this in the truck what we're gonna be doing i already bracked it in or put the bracket in she's so gonna put it right here next to the shifting mob knob and mechanism right here so when we get it all wired in it's gonna sit just like this right there just like that so we have full control over it and it looks you know we can still see it and everything so what we gotta do now is we gotta take the wiring harness we gotta wire that in um not gonna be able to get it all done today uh because i gotta get a couple of other things i also gotta get a fuse for that too as well uh, but we can get a couple things done like the line to the brake pedal the dead side uh because it needs that signal from that we can also run the ground wire this is the only two i can run at the moment and then we can possibly get the wire that goes back to the trailer plug because we got those on order for the seven way and we'll show you guys how to wire that one in when it arrives so hopefully soon okay so here's the brake controller we got the ground wired right here we just mounted it to the dash because it's already grounded there we ran the red wire underneath to the brake controller or the brake switch which is off of these two wires right here so it gets a signal when you apply the brakes it gets a signal to the controller so now we got two wires left they aren't going to get done today probably the one is the power wire from the battery uh we still need to see if i got another fuse to run that uh and then the other one goes to the trailer plug in the back so the one we could probably do today which is the power wire uh if i got enough wire to do it i just don't know if i have a fuse that is going to be able to run that i think it requires a 30 amp uh resettable fuse so kind of a big fuse but we might have a actual just normal you know plastic type c or whatever fuse sitting around it's a 30 amp it might work just fine but all right guys well guess what she is installed ready to go as soon as you hit the brake boom we got a little nipple there's no trailer hooked up so you won't get the dash c um thing can't adjust anything till you actually have the trailer hooked up with the harness but <clears throat> Woo, she got underneath the steering wheel. But we got everything underneath here. All tucked up, nice and neat. And if you go out front, as I'm waiting on the uh, thing for the truck, we basically ran the wire for the trailer. It's sitting right here. We're just gonna just basically just tuck it. Tuck it underneath this wire harness right here. That's for the trailer itself. Um, the power wire we actually just ran right here. Ran it over. I actually had a relay fuse. Not a relay fuse, but I had a um, a fuse thing. So we just plugged in the fuse right there, wired it in. So in case we overload the system, it will pop that fuse, protect our trailer brakes, protect our wiring, everything else. So waiting on the, the wiring harness for the truck, and we are good to go. All right, so it's been a minute, but now we're back working on the truck wagon. We did get the trailer plug for the truck and the uh, bracket too as well so this is the seven way that's going to be going on the truck it's a quick connect to the four way we're just tucking it up in there or we can cut it off and splice it in or however we want to do it don't matter to me but that's where the seven way goes we're probably going to put it somewhere i don't know somewhere right around there It'd be interesting and then that wire that we tucked up underneath the hood we're just going to run it back for the brake controller wire on this thing and we are good to go all right, so coming down here, look at the bumper right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it right there so it's not in the way of anything. 
and it's underneath so in case it gets hit and won't get damaged. Now we gotta find out two holes right there. Drill the holes through the steel and throw the bolts in there. Alright, holes are drilled. Woo! Now we just take our bracket, stick it up here, stick the screws through. That's done. Take our wire harness here. I'll move this whole plug out of the way. Take a new one in here. And then in. Alright, so after running the wire back for the brake controller, from the brake controller, it's hanging right here. I bring it back to the wiring harness that the plug's gonna be plugged into. So we grab the blue one. That already has the uh, connector in there. Stick it in there, crimp it down, and we are all good to go. Now that it's done, all we gotta do is get a uh, self tapper for the ground here and put it in a place where it's grounded. We will have everything ready to go. We're gonna save these other two, the black and the yellow one for the power wire and uh, the auxiliary power and the, whatever this other one, I can't remember, all the reverse lights it's for something else later on if we need it for anything. So, that being said, I'll just get this crimped down, ground wire back up and I'm good to go. All right, well, there's the plug. It is all wired, everything is working great. Get that off camera and behind the scenes because it's just tedious stuff. And it's all tucked up nice and neat. I didn't see that, but it's all cleaned up, tucked away. So that does that. Now we're just waiting on the uh, wire harness for the trailer. Once that's done, we get the trailer wired and move on from the next spot. So, other than that, I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Leave a comment, like, share. Follow me, ring the bell, smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.